What's up guys? Today we're talking six cents fishing. Okay, six cents fishing. Uh, Casey Sobchak and Jonathan Gary won the uh, Smash Mouth College National Championship in uh, 2005. Uh, because of that, they got on a show on ESPN called Bass Tech with Scott Rook. When that was all over, they were given a airbrush kit to take home, and uh, Jonathan just didn't really want it or show any interest. So uh, Casey said, you know, he'd tinker with it and see what he can get out of it. So. He started uh, painting his own baits and uh, got pretty popular with that. He was painting baits for guys at the uh, in the college uh, level, painting baits for friends and, and and just stuff like that. So he uh, posted a few of his own baits there on eBay for twenty bucks a piece, and he was selling them. So it was under the uh, the title of PaintYourOwnBait.com, and uh, he, that's where he started really getting an idea that uh, he could, you know make a living at this so he poured all his money into a, a bait mold and uh square bill didn't really fall through for him i guess the lips are breaking off and he was having some problems with it but uh mind you this was all before the whole kvd square bill thing with the uh, strike king and all that so he was uh kind of ahead of his game at that time but uh it just didn't really fall through for him so he lost everything. He ended up back kind of in the oil and gas industry and, you know, was working away on that. Started paying baits again, uh, put his money back into another square bill, which succeeded this time. And uh, that's where we end up here today with uh, Six Cents Fishing. So, yeah, actually kind of a pretty cool story. Um, yeah, so I got a few baits here. Uh, bought a couple and then a couple were donated. Uh, a guy named uh, Alex Ario. He's uh, kind of a supplier here in Ontario where I live. And uh, I just want to say thanks for that. And uh, yeah, let's just dive right into this because I got uh, I got six crankbaits to look at. And uh, I only have so much time. So right off the bat, we got the Curve 55 in Claire Truce. It's, uh, this one here has got some miles on it, if you can tell already. <laughs> There's still line on the line tie. You know, we got some hook rash marker on it, you know, a chip. So this thing here has been been kind of put through the ringer, but uh, yeah, it's still, uh, it still looks like it's running well. It's got a little bit of that wigger wart, uh, wiggle wart profile that, uh, that I like so much. Uh, but uh, it's just got little subtle differences there. There's a, the eye you can look at. There you go. And uh, sound check got a nice rattle to it I like that yeah it's clear truce is the is that color so that's the curve 55 kind of a little uh, little little diver there I don't know the depth because I don't have a box with it but uh, yeah good looking crankbait and uh, there you go curve 55 and in, in, uh, clear truce yeah I got uh, Two of the same crankbait now. I got square bills, six cents, 100X. There you go, they're square bills. Uh, I'm loving the hooks on these baits, eh? Those are great big EWG hooks. Love the eye on that one. This one's called Fire Craw, you know? There you go, there's a look at her. Nice rattle in it. I'm liking the eye, it's like a jewel. You know, a jewel of an eye. And here's uh, another one in Shad Sense. Same bait, just uh, different color. Shad Sense, different eye. These hooks are like, I'm just talking and they're hooking me. I eh? like just crazy hooks on these things. So, Six Cents 100X. Oh in shad sense so there you go okay now to the good stuff the boxed baits let's start off with a uh, square bill here called the crush 50x nice pa nice packaging 
you know um, it's not too much nice looking bait inside this baits called chrome true shad crush 50x dives to five feet of water so let's pop this open and have a look nice looking little crankbait here seems like a smaller version of the 100x well it says in the name it's the 50x but uh yeah um chrome true shad that's sharp man let's have a sound check not as hard as a rattle but still a very nice bait there's the top the bottom these hooks are just grabbing me you breathe on them and they're stuck to you so that's a nice little crankbait right there you can see the size here I'll show you the size difference between the 50 and the 100 so there's the 50 there's the 100 double the size really so yeah, nice uh, set of square bills there. So, <clears throat> excuse me, we got the uh, Crush 250 MD next, a little deeper diver, runs 7 to 11 feet, it says, 5 eighths ounce, so a little bit heavier, and uh, Chartreuse Sungill is that color. So let's, let's pop this open and have a look. There you go. Sure, true sungill. Got to look at the eye. There's your bill. It's got a nice knock to it. And uh, yeah, 7 to 11 feet. Here's your top. It's like a purpley blue. Kind of runs down into a, into a white. A little chartreuse on the sides. Just the little orange little orange dot there kind of makes it look like a little little side fin I'm liking that bait it's a nice color good dirty water bait definitely so there you go that's the 250 crush MD crush in chartreuse sungill so there you go and our last bait is called the Sixth Sense Cloud 9 C10. So, yeah, that one's uh, seven, sorry, that one dives uh, nine to 12, eight to 12. And uh, this color is called Shad Burst. So, <clears throat> we'll get this open and have a look. Great big dirty hooks on there. But there you go. Nice curved lip. Great big lip. That thing will dive. So I was asking Alex what the difference was before I seen the baits between the 250 MD and the C10 Cloud 9, and he said the lips. So same size, same kind of profile, just uh, different lips. And uh, the eyes, nice eyes on there. And beauty paint job. That one really kill around here with the natural color and the wow, you gotta hear that. Great clear water bait. So we've got all our angles covered there, and uh yeah, there it is. So that was the Cloud 9 C10 in Shad Burst. So yeah. <clears throat> Just want to thank you guys for stopping in checking the videos out and uh, making suggestions on on uh, crankbaits to look at because uh, there's there's a lot of I haven't looked at um, I haven't had a comment on the last video but if I do uh, that person will win a 13 fishing jabber jaw so get those subscriptions up get the comments going and uh, tell me what you guys want to see next and uh, I'll make it happen so thanks for stopping in and uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one.